Cheers. Cheers. Well, greetings, everybody. Um, if you're a follower of our channel, long time no see. I mean, for real. My name is Brett. And I'm Kelly, and we are not dead. We're not dead. We just took a couple months off from Love Bets in the Belfry. We kind of wanted to give an update video on what's going on in our lives. Um, I, I'll probably leave the floor to you for a little bit, because um, you, you have a lot that's been going on. Um, Frank goes in this video right here. You guys know him. Yeah, we have a lot to um, discuss. Um, we'll give you some updates on our channel and just the future of the Love Bats channel. But sorry we've been gone so long. Yeah. We kind of took a break for a little while, um, especially if you're watching this at the time this is going to be posted. It's kind of a crazy time in the world right now. And a lot of, a lot of high anxiety for a lot of people, I would say. The last video we did, actually Kelly was the one who edited it, but she did a Twin Peaks birthday. Mm -hmm. It was my birthday in February, and it's now April. Yeah. But that was our last video, so it was a couple months ago. And Today is April 10th that we're recording this, so it's literally been... A little over two months. Yeah, just about two months since we've made the video, so... Yeah. Um, so since then, basically, I'm in grad school to be a licensed social worker. So, grad school has drastically changed since COVID-19. Um, my internship was, like, cut off real early. I wasn't supposed to be done until July. Now I'm already completed my internship, and I'm finishing up school. So I won't bore you with the details, but things have just been really intense. And that's kind of why I was MIA. Um, but also just, COVID-19 is really affecting us in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. um, it's affecting a lot of people. Well, of course, yeah, and we're already homebodies, but whenever you're told, like, the state of Maryland's on a stay-at-home order right now, and has been since, what day? Last week of March, I guess. Yeah. Um, and we can't leave the state, so just knowing that we're confined here is kind of, like, anxiety-provoking. We have plenty of food and plenty of great movies to watch, and we love each other's company. Mm -hmm. We're best friends, so, you know, being stuck inside with each other, we don't really feel stuck. Mm -hmm. But it's just kind of anxiety-provoking to know, like, we can't go somewhere if we really need to. Yeah, um, I mean, just simply, here and there, we have to go to the grocery store, and that's, I mean, right now, it's really crazy, and I... I mean, I have a lot of anxiety just simply leaving the house just to go to the grocery store. Yeah. And where we live, like, a grocery store is not even a five-minute drive. Yeah. But going in there, and, like, at least right now, it's like you went to the grocery store recently, and there's, like, everything is a one-way. You can only go down an aisle one way. And it's, yeah. it's crazy. And so, I mean, we were discussing the whole Love Bats channel, and... um so you're going to be finishing school very mm -hmm. soon and we kind of wanted to you know kind of get back into it a little bit and you know because it's something i i like doing and it keeps me busy and i like being busy so um like we it's almost halfway to halloween and with i mean this virus we want to kind of it's something that makes me happy doing exactly. this and i like at least trying to bring a little enjoyment mm -hmm. to you know the world and you know hopefully people are entertained by you know us and uh, you know us talking about our passions and being really gung-ho about you know Halloween and all this crazy stuff yeah but so yeah we just wanted to do like a little update video so we're not dead yet <laughs> we're here <laughs> we're still here we're just working from home and finally getting our house like completely in order which has been a project mm -hmm. um, but with all this extra time that we've been blessed with we are kind of organizing everything, and all of our decorations are pretty much in place. So you can actually look forward to a house tour that we've been talking about for months. Yeah, um, the that'll three, be really fun. Yeah, the three people who are, uh, subscribe to us actually are like, "Where's your house tour? Yeah. I want to see a house yeah. tour here." So um, we've got some other big news. Yeah, we do, and this was, I mean, today is April tenth, and we've had her for we've had her about ten days yeah. now. Um, but we have a new dog, and her name's Tilly. Say hi, Tilly. She's a rescue dog, and she's a um, French Bulldog and Chihuahua mix. 
See, I just turned five yesterday. Yeah, April 9th was her birthday. Yeah, she's been uh, been really cool, and we really love how she looks, and you know, she's just very different like us. So babe, do you want to explain um, her birth defect? Sure. So when she was born, she couldn't feel the right side of her face. So um, that's why her tongue always hangs out, just because she doesn't really like know how to keep it in, um, like most dogs do. Uh, and also her right eye, she had up until two months ago, I guess, maybe just shy of two months. Um, she was just having a lot of difficulty with it and her eye was not producing tears like naturally. So um, it was really just dry and it, it, it was causing a lot more issues than it was helping and benefiting her. So they decided to have it removed. Um, she's obsessed with licking her feet. She really is. But there's her eye. She honestly doesn't let her let it phase her. Um, she's still super quick and super smart. She does not miss a beat. Um, yeah, I mean, she's one of the fastest dogs I've ever owned. So Franco's not at her level. Girlfriend. Girlfriend, you got to stop licking your feet so much. Yeah, see, despite just her tongue hanging out, like she still knows how to lick stuff. Like, obviously, look at that. Like, it does not stop her from... Give me your foot! Does not stop her from licking you in the face. Trust me. Can I have a kiss? Mmm, thank you. <laughs> um, she sleeps under the covers with us. Mm -hmm. It's the cutest thing ever. It is really cute. So. Did you want to say hi to Frank? Is this your brother? Is that your boy? Do you share bones with him? They sure do. Yeah, you're such a good sister. We're people who don't like to judge a book by its cover, and we saw her online and just really loved, you know, how she looked. And it's a shame because we went to, you know, apply to um, hopefully adopt her, and um, the adoptive, um, the lady in the agency was just like, yeah, not a lot of people have really put in an application for her, which made us really, really sad. Like, she kind of laughed, like I was like, you know, because I had a feeling it could go either way. Like, either everyone's attracted to her because of her different look, or no one wants her because they're like, ew. Yeah. And so I asked her that. I said, did a lot of people apply? And she was just like, huh, no. And I was like, oh my god, yeah. we need her. Yeah. So, Franco's got a new friend. Mm -hmm. They're uh, They're very interesting together. They really are. I feel like they like each other, but also hate each other. Yes. So, Typical it's a, sibling rivalry, I guess. I, I would say so. Yeah. But she's taken a liking to her household and taking a liking to us pretty she, pretty quickly. She honestly fits right in. Mm -hmm. I think so. Hi. She loves laying in your lap. Mm -hmm. You're I, totally her cuddle bug. Yeah, basically I can just sit down. And then she'll immediately jump up in my lap and just lay down, and then I'll put a blanket over her and she'll go to sleep. It's yeah, crazy. and if she wants to be covered up, what does she do? <laughs> so, especially laying in bed, I'll, I'll like have the covers like right here, and then she'll walk up, and then like right here, and then she's like, "It's so cute." Like, meaning she wants to, oh, she come to you, meaning she wants to go under the covers. Yeah, it's really cute. But she's a daddy's girl at night. Yeah. Yeah, she's my... She likes to sleep with me. It's so cute. But in a way, she likes to be sandwiched in between both of us. <laughs> she so. really does. We're not allowed to cuddle anymore. <laughs> it's funny, too, because you'll, like, roll over, and she, like, does not budge, like, whatsoever. Yeah, and she's like, practically you feel like she, smushed. Yeah, you feel like she's getting crushed, and then she's just like... Yeah. Girl, shake that thing, shake that thing, don't stop. Come on, girl, shake that thing, shake that thing, don't stop. Are you sad? She just wants to sleep all the time. Mm -hmm. So, that's another big update. Um, I mean, besides Kelly with school, um, we were just... Planning our wedding? That's big. Yeah, and so far it's still on for Cross October. Cross your freaking fingers. With this virus right now, it's funny. A lot of people who are out of work are like, oh, like, yeah, I'm expected to go back in, you know, early May. I was like, it might be June or July, honestly. I yeah. mean, 
and I wouldn't be surprised if it goes longer. And I've watched many, many YouTube videos and news stuff about, you know, how long it's going to take for a vaccine or this to go away. And like the vaccine they're saying it could be, you know, a year to a year and a half. Yeah. So we don't, we'll just wait and see. We'll just quarantine ourselves. So welcome to the Love Bats quarantine. <laughs> so practice social distancing, wear your mask. We still have to make masks. I want to make spooky masks. We should. Yeah. Maybe we could take, so I saw some hollow, uh, some, um, sock mask, uh, DIY videos. Sorry. That's okay. And, um, we could totally take some spooky socks that we can't find matches to and make some cool DIY face masks out of them. I think we should do that. Maybe that'll be a video. We idea. could do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I didn't mean to make this whole video about COVID, but I wasn't trying to either. Just honestly, it, this it's is just, what's happening right, right now in this, the world, and this is all people are really talking about. Right. Like, there's so. really nothing else going on. Mm -hmm. and it's like everything's affected by this. I mean, the fact is, like, you know me. I watch a lot of like stuff on the entertainment industry, and it's just like movie theaters are like in the dirt right now because of it. Like the fact that like network TV is in trouble mm -hmm. because there's like they have nothing that they can premiere and nothing's filming. Production has been halted for you know, months to a year. Yeah. Movies aren't coming out for another year, practically. So. It's a crazy time. It is a really crazy time, but we hope to bring, you know, videos and enjoyment for everyone who's yeah. watching us. So, if you uh, are watching this video, uh, we thank you for, for tuning in. Mm -hmm. And look forward to some more videos and stop coming out here soon. Okay. Coffee cheers. Is that all? That's it. All right. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Brett. I'm Kelly. And we're Love Bats in the Belfry. So stay spooky. Bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning into the Love Bats. Bye.